Hey shifters, happy full moon in Virgo. Who is not more fitting? Who is more fitting for your video about from the full moon in Virgo than the Virgo archetype, Mary Magdalene? Virgin Mary or no, this is Mary Magdalene. She was a witch. She was very intuitive. She had visions, highly spiritual, a healer, but she was thought to be possessed with demons. Her power and her divinity was translated to evil. I find it interesting that Mary Magdalene, who symbolizes the best of Christianity, was the very thing that Christianity moved on to persecute. Witches, wise women, healers, oracles, leaders, spiritual leaders. She wasn't really a pupil of Jesus. She was an ally, a partner. They were both teachers. Her, Christianity put on a pedestal. Other women, just like her, Christianity and the Inquisition butchered, hung, burned. How many Mary Magdalene's Christianity burned at the stakes in the name of Mary Magdalene? I never shared this, but Mary actually came to me in a dream once. I'm not Christian, I'm Jewish, but I don't make a big deal out of these things. Um, I don't look at things like that in a very, you know, dogmatic way. Deities are deities, divinity is divinity. It doesn't matter the language and the culture. And at first I couldn't understand why she would come, come to me in a dream. She didn't really say anything. But when I, I'm, a, I'm just having a, an adventure for today and um, I, I walked past this area and I saw the statue and I was like, oh my God, that's how she looked like in my dream. And I just hung out here and I was like, wow, this is, this is perfect for, for you guys, for the video, for the full moon in Virgo. And so here I am talking to you about her. And I guess maybe the message from this full moon from her for the next couple of weeks or six months or however time is don't forget in the name of what it is that you started this journey for. Right? Christianity claims to honor and admire, even worship, everything that Mary represented, represents. And then when it encountered the same archetype, but within women who do the same thing, but use divination or just have different names or they come from different cultures, then it's no longer holy, then it's evil because we fail to look at the essence of things. We get stuck on the cover, on the delivery. And we don't really listen to the words and we don't really feel the energy. We put things in structured cube and then from here on every Mary archetype has to look like Mary and think like Mary and walk like Mary but Mary wasn't about the family that she was born to or the places that she visited Mary was about her heart her spirit and what she did for people Right? And those are the 
pagan women and those are the witches and those are everything that does good in the name of spirit pretty much it doesn't matter the name of the spirit but why can't we fathom that And you're probably watching me and you're saying, no, I, can't. I I fathom that. I understand what you're saying. Are you sure? Because if we all did, we wouldn't have been in this mess. There are so many witch hunts going on right now in our society. We ridicule the other political side. It's evil, it's corrupt, it's dumb, it's all that. And both parties say the same thing about the other. That vilification, that demonization, is the same as witch hunt. And they both do the same things, only in different fields. Corruption plays out in both sides, in just different places, different topics, and so does goodness plays out in different topics so seemingly they are of different essence but they're just mirroring each other the other side's corruptions should show that side their own corruption that side's corruption should show this side's their corruption but instead of seeing the other and what they do and 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 become conscientious and awaken to what it is that that we do the same, we just project it and blame. I guess the message for the next couple of weeks or from this full moon is think what it is that right now you're upset of, mad over, think is corrupt, bad, in any field. In your life and then meditate and try to find where you do something similar and it doesn't have to be in the same field it doesn't have to be in the same like that person can be doing that in their career you might be doing it in your love life or vice versa right that person might not be able to commit to any one love life and it, and it drives you crazy but maybe you can't commit to anything work-wise or a living situation or a faith you know think it doesn't have to apply in the same it doesn't have to be the same semantic but take the essence and see where you do that especially do so in ways in, in aspects of corruption and persecution if you see someone being corrupt or persecuting someone that you care about or a group that you care about think hard in your life where are you who are you vilifying right now and then do research research the shit out of them or it whether it a group a faith a philosophy a person a place instead of focusing on whoever is doing vilifying right now focusing on where you're vilifying and who and just do research and that will really relieve a karmic burden it will open your perspective it will heal something in you and it will open your world in ways that you can't even fathom can't even begin just try it find this and it's a very hard thing to do it's a very difficult practice you know incredibly difficult practice because it forces you to look at your own demons within you but the best way to do so without being triggered or upset or you know avoidant of it is by realizing that the demons within you whatever that you do that is bad you know when you vilify when you persecute and so on um, it comes from an inner wounded scared child that was taught that the way to be safe is to stay away from them from that so this was developed within you from a place of 
needing safety and, and freedom. So if you realize that the evil aspect in you doesn't come from an evil place, rather from just a wounded child, and you address that, and you're like, it's okay. It's not as dangerous as you think it is, and then it, it becomes easier to observe it within yourself. You don't, you don't deter from it because it's no longer a dangerous thing, right? If, if what they do is dangerous, admitting to yourself that you do something similar triggers danger and you'll, your, your entire system will go into alert and, and if you'll be like no 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 it's okay it's not danger it's not dangerous you'll be able to see to look into yourself easier you know oh the inner child right someone thought it as I was talking about the wounded inner child thought about the kid here and it's like and it just yeah We all have within us a Mary Magdalene and we all have within us the Inquisition. And the way to liberate humanity from that painful polarity is by embracing both of these archetypes within us and connecting them. Had the Inquisition saw Mary Magdalene in every single witch that they burned, they wouldn't burn them. Shifters, um, these videos are made for Patreon every new and full month. And they're always exclusive to you guys but I have a very strong uh, feeling that I need to put this on YouTube so thank you for understanding you know every now and then there's a message that needs to also get to the collective um, I also want to point out that today is uh, March 18th that marks two years since my uh, uh, beloved grandfather Max um, passed away he passed away on March 18th 2020 right when the lockdowns started um, he was a Pisces which kind of fits the uh, the axis one the Virgo Pisces axis with this full moon right and I just I loved him very much and I just wanted to mention him Wherever he is, however he is, whatever he is, I hope, I hope he's happy. I was a very, very lucky I was very lucky to have him as a as a grandfather. I'm trying to think if this is supposed to inspire me to understand what what she was trying to tell me in the dream. I don't know. If any of you have an idea or get an inclination, feel free to share in the comments. Okay, shifters, seers, seekers, thank you once again for joining me. I will see you real soon. Messages 